Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So today I'm sitting down and just going to do a little bit of a fun video. Um, in in semi-just the other day, I mentioned maybe doing a show and tell of my coffee mug collection and I had so many people that wanted to see that that I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, so I will say this, now first of all, I did not get out every single one of my coffee mugs because I do have some like souvenir kinds of ones and uh, ones that people gave me as gifts, things like that. But I thought what I would do is I would share my pottery mugs because pottery is like, ah, oh, yes, I love pottery mugs. It is my kryptonite. So the ones I will start with are my oldest ones, the ones that I have had the longest. And as I go through these, if I know, if I remember who the artist was that made them, I will share that with you. Some of them have websites uh, or Etsy shops where you can order from them. Um, some of them do not. So let me take a sip. And I will start with my first mugs. Now these two mugs right here, and I'll do kind of like little close-ups with my camera over here on the side. These two mugs right here were made by the same artist. Um, I can't actually, Schilling, I think it says Schilling Law maybe on the bottom. Um, I purchased these at a festival. It was called the Malcolm Blue Farm Festival and they had an artist there who did demonstrations and did a throwing wheel right there making pottery and and everything as part of this festival and these are both mugs that came from that artist so I have had these a very long time and they're just kind of primitive simple coffee mugs and I love the nice sturdy handle and I like that I can get all four of my fingers in there So another mug that I bought in North Carolina, uh, this one, like the other two, I don't remember who made them. It says Bay Tea on the bottom, B-A-I-T-E-E, -E. Um, but bought it in North Carolina. I liked the color of it. Now, if I remember correctly, I bought this at a pottery, and unfortunately, that pottery no longer exists. I read that a couple years ago it actually burned down. So that is where I got this one. All right, so the next mugs are a couple that I also got, got at an arts festival. I get a lot of coffee mugs from arts festivals, it seems. Um, this one, I actually don't remember where I got this. I believe it was a arts festival in Alabama here. The artist on the bottom is named Rick Adams but I can tell you I got this one because of the color. I absolutely love that sage green. It's my favorite color. Now this one I got at an arts festival in Huntsville, Alabama, and I bought it because I liked the color of it. I thought it was beautiful. And later, several years later, I posted a photo on Instagram and someone saw this mug and said, is that a such and such mug? Well, I had no idea so I went and I looked at the bottom of it and at the time because of what they had said in that comment I could identify what this um, signature was but at this point I don't remember what it was so I guess this is a well-known artist I had no idea but uh, yes I bought this at an arts festival from the artist and yes gorgeous mug so this one I bought at the same uh, festival uh, from a different artist. There's no name on it. There's no nothing like that. There's just like this little decorative kind of swirl sort of thing. Kind of reminds me maybe of a snail. But again, bought it for the gorgeous color. Don't know the name of the artist, but I got it at the um, art festival in Huntsville. All right. The next two mugs I bought at another arts festival. These were the River Clay Arts Festival in Decatur, Alabama. This one, I just liked the color. It was very primitive looking 
and it's kind of a blue gray color very earthy I don't know there was just something about it that kind of called my name and um, on the bottom it has a mark that says BC I don't recall the name of the artist who made this but it was from the River Clay Arts Festival now this particular mug the the design that is on here is very delicate and it is also um, I guess you would say like the trademark design of this particular artist his name is Larry Allen he lives here in Alabama and uh, he is very very well known for his art I just absolutely fell in love with this coffee mug and what I thought was especially interesting was the story behind the design if you look very closely at the design it looks like people standing side by side and they all have their hands raised and like they're holding hands together and he came up with this design after 9-11 because after 9-11 happened he felt like the country was united and that since then we had lost that and it was his way of saying we need to come back together as people and be united once again. I thought it was not only a beautiful sentiment but also a beautiful design. That is all of the mugs that I have purchased at festivals and the rest of them I have purchased from uh, the artists in a different way. Now this one right here is a Haley Rose coffee mug. I bought this coffee mug a couple years ago before she became a very super popular artist <laughs> because at the time you could go onto her website and you could choose from a number of coffee mugs and um, I had gotten this one from her. I loved the design because it looks like a snowy birch tree or birch stump and my son Joshua every time he comes to visit this is the only coffee mug that he uses. It's his absolute favorite and I love that she even decorated the bottom. It's got kind of that swirl to look like wood grain on the bottom of a log. So like I said, I bought this one several years ago and I do have one other mug that is of hers as well. This is my newest mug actually. I just got this and I will tell you, there is no more just going to her website and browsing and picking a mug. I had heard that her store restocks sell out super, super fast. And I thought I was being ridiculous by doing this, but she posts the photos of all of the mugs that she's going to sell before they become available. And then when she does the announced restock, they all go live at the same time and people can buy them. Well, I went through all of her mugs and I picked out my four favorite ones that I, that I really, really liked. And I sat there on her website as the time was coming near for it to go live and I just kept refreshing uh, one of the pages and I kid you not, the instant it went live, I put my first coffee mug in the cart, started to check out, and as I went to do my payment information, it needed my phone number. So I went to put in my phone number. The time it took me to enter in my phone number, somebody else had bought the mug. I immediately went to the second one, put it in my cart, boom, already sold. Went to the third one, got it. I believe her entire shop, many, many, many mugs, sold out in about five minutes. So here I thought I was being ridiculous by having four windows open, one for each of the four mugs that I really, really liked, thinking thinking that I would even need to do that. No, I actually didn't need to do that. So I feel very lucky that I was able to get this mug. And it has sort of like a, a flower on there. kind of reminds me of a zinnia. And I just loved it very beautiful and has a kind of uh, freestyle sort of feel to it. All right. And again, these two mugs are by Haley Rose and she does have a website. I will put a link down below where you can uh, see that.
So now my next several mugs, I have my Cosmopolitan Cornbread. And this is made by a lady named Tori and her pottery is called Two Ridges Pottery. She's based in the Chattanooga area and she made this mug for me and this mug for me. And they are one of her earlier mugs and I absolutely love them. It was the first time I ever had any sort of custom piece made for me like this and I still use them. I've actually got two of the green ones um, here in the house and I still use these all of the time. Then I have a couple more mugs. This one here, this mountain design, this is one of them made by Tori. I loved the natural clay, the speckled clay that was exposed on the top. And then you have that beautiful mountain scenery on there. And it's blue on the inside. Absolutely love this, also made by Tori. And then here is another custom mug that I had Tori make for me. This one has a different design on there. I had her make a few with our farm name on there, A Good Life Farm. And it's also got my little hen and spoon design, my little logo down there. And so later on as she started doing these, she, she began putting a line around the edge of it, which gave it a little bit more of a finished look for the logos. And I had her do this one in sort of a, a cafe style mug. And then this is the newest one that I got from her. I had her make these for me. I wanted some of the white, kind of the speckled uh, glaze look. It's a little bit bigger of a mug. And of course it's got my chicken design on there. These mugs are actually currently available if you would like to get one like this. She has them on her website, which is tworidgespottery.com, and you could order your own made just for you. So she does pre-orders, so you go in there, you put in the order, and then she puts it in the queue to be made, and then she ships it to you as soon as it is ready. So this is the newest one that I've had her done for me and I think it is my favorite yet. All right, my next two mugs, these two are kind of big chunky mugs and they are made by the same artist. This one is like this smooth bowl design. It's got the speckled clay and just kind of a natural, natural tone all inside and out. These are made by Courage Goods it's got this really big handle over here, and I love this mug. Uh, this one in particular was actually sent to me by a friend. Uh, she decided that it wasn't the right, wasn't the right style for her, the right shape. I'm very particular about my mugs, even though I have ones that are all different shapes and sizes. If it doesn't feel right in my hand, I'm not going to use it very often. And so she's kind of the same way. She's very much about the aesthetic and this just wasn't the right mug for her, but I do love it. Now, I cannot drink out of this mug though if I'm like laying back in the recliner or anything like that because of the round shape. If you're laying back, I end up like dribbling down my chin every time. So I can drink out of this if I'm like sitting at the table or as long as I'm upright. <laughs> but if I am reclining in any way, I can't use this mug. And you'll have to pardon one of the dogs is chewing on a bone there on the other side of the curtain. And then this mug is also made by her. Again, a nice big mug. This is kind of like my double dose tea mug. This is my, I use two tea bags. I like to do my herbal tea in the evening. And I will drink out of this one a lot. Uh, make myself a nice big mug of tea. I don't generally drink out of one this big for coffee, but I do when I'm drinking my tea. And this, the glaze on it is actually a matte color. And what I think is kind of cool, now some people might not like this, but, but I kind of like it, is that the inside of it has actually gotten a brown patina from all of the tea I drink. So I think it's kind of cool, but I loved the natural on the bottom and then the white glaze. Okay, so again, those are made by Courage Goods. Pretty sure she has a website. I found her through Instagram. 
And speaking of Instagram, this is one that I connected with a lady on Instagram as well. This is one of my newer mugs. I just got it um, a couple months ago. The lady who makes this, her name is PJ, and I found her through Instagram. Her Instagram handle is Flipping Dirt and Flowers, F-L-O-U-R-S, like the baking flour. Flipping Dirt and Flowers, and I fell in love with this mug. I saw her post it on Instagram. She did kind of a show and tell, sort of like this, but it was all the mugs that she was about to put in her shop. And I just, I'm very much an autumn person. It's my favorite season. And so when I saw the fall colors and the leaves and the acorns, I'm like, I have got to get one of those mugs. Now her shop is called Miller White and she sells not only pottery, but she does homemade soaps and all sorts of things. And she is just a really neat lady. She is from Alabama originally, although she moved up over the border into Tennessee but she has all sorts of things that she likes to make and again this one's got a nice big handle but it's not too big i've i've seen some mugs that the handles are so big that they're kind of ridiculous but this this mug is just kind of like the perfect size and so i will put a link for her shop down below as well and then the last mugs that i have here i have three of them they're made by the same artist I actually had four of her mugs, but like I said earlier, um, sometimes I make, but like I said earlier, sometimes I take coffee cups outside and things happen. <laughs> um, and unfortunately that happened to one of the beautiful mugs that I got from her. The artist who makes these mugs, her name is Nanette. She lives out in California and I... I think I found her through Etsy, but I do follow her on Instagram as well. It's Pottery by Nanette. That's the name of her uh, Instagram as well as her her shop on uh, Etsy. And this one here, this white one, this is the first one that I got from her. I just fell in love with it. It just had sort of a, I don't know, old-fashioned kind of farmhouse feel to it. And I know you can't see it on camera, but the, she's got like this little dotted line that goes across the top. And it's got these little three-dimensional dots. And I just loved the little detail that she put on that. This was the first one that I bought from her. Then the second one that I had bought, I will look for a picture and kind of put it up here. Uh, it was the exact same design and size. I love the shape of her mugs. Um, this one was a beautiful green and it had these white flowers on it and I absolutely loved it and I broke it. Oh, I was devastated. Nanette's coffee mugs and her pottery, a lot of it is very much one of a kind. She might have ones that are similar, but for the most part, there's not a lot. Like, I've never seen another one like this. Um, the flower design that she had on that green mug, I, she has used that flower design on other things, but I've never seen a mug just like that one that I had. So a lot of her stuff is one of a kind. So I was going through her shop one day and I was thinking, man, I wish, because she had a lot of flowers and, and all different things on there. And I thought, man, I wish she would make one with sunflowers on it. Well... A few weeks ago, I happened to get on there and lo and behold, she had this earthy yellow mug on there with flowers and the one here on the side kind of looks like, um, what would I call that? Almost a zinnia, maybe a mum, not, not quite sure. But when I turn it around on the other side, that kind of looks like a sunflower. And so I was instantly in love, and you know, I had to get it from her. And then the last one that I've gotten, this is the newest mug, also made by Nanette. And here you can see, I mentioned how she uses that flower design sometimes on other things. This one does have that really neat uh, flower design that is kind of carved into the glaze. But it also has some trees and deer. Check that out. Got kind of like the silhouettes of them in there. 
And then the inside, the top and the inside just had this really neat uh, green glaze. So you've got like the matte green and the contrast of the, the shiny green on top. And of course, this mug, now this mug, I actually saw her post a photo of it on Instagram. I instantly went to her Etsy shop looking for it and it wasn't on there. And so I messaged her and I'm like, has that mug already already sold? Well, she went ahead and put it in the shop as a custom order just for me so that I was able to get it from her. So I was absolutely thrilled. All right, so that is it. That is my, uh, the dogs are playing back there. This is my pottery coffee mug collection. Again, if I know where you can find the artists, if they have websites or anything like that, I will link the ones I know down below so that you can find them if you are interested. And uh, if you have any questions about any of them, leave them in the comments down below. So tell me uh, which one's your favorite. <laughs> so that is it for today. Thanks for joining me here for my pottery show and tell. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. And I'll talk to y'all next time.